Hey fam, I am a Roman Catholic and I've been getting really into my faith lately and I've been thinking a lot of cool, deep, interesting thoughts and I would just like to document that and share some of these thoughts with you. As always on all of my videos, um, it's open to discussion. You can leave a comment letting me know what you think. I just ask that we keep it mature and civil and let's be adults, shall we? At my college, we have a club called Crew. It's like a Christian ministry thing where um, college kids who are um, religious, Catholic, Christian, whatever, can get together and just talk about their faith, learn about their faith, um, just stuff like that. A couple of the girls in this group have volunteered to meet with my friend and I about uh, learning about our faith and just getting kind of like one-on-one -on -one time and more one-on-one um, -on -one personalized help with this kind of stuff. I have so many questions that I've been pondering on lately, but I have chosen just a few that I'm going to share with you in this video. Okay, so free will. I know we've been told that we have free will, but at the same time I've heard that God has a plan for us. That kind of seems to contradict for me and I don't quite understand it. A lot of my questions have to do with what does that mean? I'll be reading the Bible or reading the book that we're reading in our little mini book club together and I just ask, what does that mean? I need I need a definition, I need more clarification on what that means. Okay, so um, <clears throat> we started talking about free will when we talked about um, well, why why does God allow bad things to happen? Why do people do awful things? And she said it's because we have free will, we choose. And when we do those bad things, we are choosing to do that. In our discussions, we also mentioned that God knows everything that is going to happen in your life. He knows everything. And is that his plan or is that just him knowing because God is outside of time? and God knows how your entire life is going to map out already. Is that... Okay, but if he knows that you're going to choose this, if he knows that you're going to choose wrong, and he knows exactly what wrong decision you're going to make, does that mean that we still have that free will to choose, but he just knows that what we're going to do? Or does that mean he is in control of our choices? Or does he just simply know what we're going to choose through our free will? And this plan thing, this plan, God's plan, that kind of sounds like God is planning on you making these choices. But... Is he in control of us making those choices, or does he just know what we're going to do? What does God's plan mean? Another thing, we got into a bit of a discussion about this uh, with the club at school. Does temptation come from God? Okay, so um, the story of Adam and Eve. The snake tempted Adam and Eve, right? God did create that snake, but did the snake choose to tempt them? Or did God make that snake tempt them? Surely God gave that snake flaws and it's in his nature. Apparently the snake is like compared to Satan or something. I think God does put obstacles in our way that tempt us. I don't quite know why yet. That question hasn't really been answered yet. We also talked about um, anything you're struggling with, any really hard times or trials you're going through, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, and uh, rejoice when you're having a hard time because just know that God is with you, and God's right there with you, and he's helping you through this, and something good will come out of this. But is that the same as temptation? Like, yes, we are humans, we are flawed, that is part of our nature to be able to feel temptation and be swayed by temptations. Did God put those temptations in our lives, in our way, to tempt us? I think so, because all things come from God, right? Even Lucifer was created by God. Yes, he was an angel. God created Lucifer, but Lucifer chose to disobey God. Yes, God probably knew that was what he was going to choose, but did God force him to choose that way, or was God in control of that? They say that um, whenever you experience temptation, it's Satan trying to tempt you. 
but Satan comes from God, right? So I think temptation does come from God, but um, we were kind of going back and forth, and it's it's tricky stuff. It's It's hard to understand. And I'm trying to figure out, should I just not think so hard into this and just um, think of something or find something that is like, okay, I know you have all these questions, but d you don't have to worry about that. Just know this. And I'm trying to figure out what that is. Is it just like the basic truth of Christianity that Jesus was God? Jesus is God himself in human form. Jesus die he paid the wage of sin for us the wage of sin is death and jesus paid that for us so that every sin we ever did or ever will do is taken care of all we have to do is ask for forgiveness and it's good and uh if we believe that jesus was god and uh if we um choose to let him into our life and be nice to others and stuff like that then we will get to go to the kingdom of god and be with god for eternity but isn't it good to question things? I'm taking a critical thinking class, and um, it's really helping with our um, discussions about it, and we're learning how to make a good argument and uh, make a constructive argument and all the different ways we make arguments, and we're learning all these things. I'm just struggling a little bit with trying to wrap my head around these questions, and I've been looking at this website that the girls at the club gave me, everystudent.com it's um a resource for students who are christian or catholic and they have questions just like i have and they can go to this and there's articles sort of teaching about these questions i don't know if it's necessarily at answering them or if it's just um giving these different perspectives on it like what is the truth which which of these different perspectives is true and how do we know that can we ever know that it's just hard to wrap my mind around these things, and I want to know, and I have so many questions, and something's t something tells me that it's good to have these inquiries. It's good to ask these questions, and question things, and try to find answers. All my teachers in my past years have told me that that's a good thing that you have, Catherine, is you want to ask questions, and you want to know, and that's good. Does that apply here, or should I just, like, not stress out about it and just accept that, okay, that's great, but um, all you need to know is this, don't worry about that. I think I might have mentioned a uh, way more questions that I had originally planned to. I just wanted to bring up these questions to share and uh, sort of document what I'm going through right now and ask you what you think if you're a christian or a catholic like me even even if you're not um what do you think about this and i encourage you to go to everystudent.com if you are going through what i'm going through it's a great website it's got so many questions and topics that it explores i invite you to have a nice civil mature discussion in the comments below i will be monitoring it but yeah um it's great to have a discussion about things. It's one of the things I love about having academic inquiries and asking questions is having a discussion with um, the people around you. And uh, I invite you to leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Um, just keep it mature and civil. I hope you're all doing well. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay hydrated. I hope you're having a good day, a good week. I hope you're getting enough sleep and getting outside as much as possible because where I am the weather is starting to warm up and it's just so nice to be able to go outside. I hope you're doing well in school if you are in school. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.